Welcome, friends. Today, we are doing another perfume review. Scintillating. That is right, my friends. Once again, I have returned to you with another perfume review. This time, from the house of Guerlain, and the perfume we will be reviewing is from a decant. And it is called Metallica, or Metalise. Okay, so, let me say it to you. That I am reviewing from a decant for the first time. I don't usually do that, but this is a big decant, as you can see, and I've used quite a bit. Um, I feel... Like, I understand this perfume well enough to give it a review. And because I've had it for quite some time, and I haven't worn it as a scent of the day, I was kind of... I was kind of reticent to, to do a review. I was going to do, like, a first impressions, but it wasn't really a first impressions. It was much more of a... a, a, a a, a, a fucking not even a second but like a like a brunch between breakfast and lunch it was between two big things that wasn't a first impressions it wasn't going to be a review but i've decided to fuck it i'm going to i'm going to review it because i understand this fragrance and i'm at peace with this fragrance you know um so it will follow my tried and trusty technique of reviewing in which i will tell you the notes i will tell you which notes that i get the most, and then I will just talk about this fragrance at length. So, let us begin. Okay, so, the blurb says, Guerlain had launched Metallica's, the Metallica fragrance in 2000, but due to the, bra the band of the same name, it had to change it to Metalise. Metalise launched again in 2005. The perfume is signed by Jean-Paul Guerlain. Top notes are orange, bergamot, and grapefruit, Heart is ylang ylang, orange blossom, rose, carnation, iris, and spice. Base is vanilla, amber, tonga, and musk. Okay. So, the notes that I get the most of, the standout notes to me, are carnation, iris, vanilla, and ylang ylang. I was almost going to go for tonga being there, but I went for ylang ylang instead. So, how do I feel about this fragrance and what do I think? Well, let's have a spray. I have a stick with uh, the dry down on, which I sprayed last night before I went to bed. And it's got like the remnants, quite, quite smelling quite strongly of it, but I've got the top in the mid here as well. Um, whoa. Okay, so the fragrance starts, right, with this kind of... It's not indeterminate, but it is, it's, it's, it's very well blended and it's hard to pick out the citruses at the top, you know? So you start with this kind of fresh, fruity, excuse me whilst I hydrate, citric blast. I get the grapefruit, the grapefruit's actually nice quality, considering most of the grapefruit that was used in the early 2000s was utterly horrific. It was awful. And by this point, like 15, 20 years later, that note, that material has died a very bad death by this point, usually. This one hasn't. Very fortunate. Um, the bergamot and the orange kind of, like, they take the edge off each other. They're neither sharp nor citric, but they're very... There is a bit of a, there is a, bit of a point there, you know, that cuts through, but that dies off very quickly, and then you get into this heart. The floral heart of this fragrance is, oh, it's like 40% of this fragrance. Um, the top is like 5% and then the base is the other 50%. But the floral heart of this is kind of where the, the, the action happens, the, the interesting part of this fragrance. It's utterly, utterly beautiful. Um, what I would say is that it feels to me like there is a note missing from the from the list, which is lavender. Now, for me, this fragrance 
reminds me every time I smell it, just when I've sprayed it there and when I smell the dry down even, but not so present in the dry down, but the mid of this reminds me totally of lavender. It reminds me of Aberdeen Lavender by Creed. It reminds me of La Troisième Homme by Caron. Um, and it reminds me of Jean Patou's Mar Liberté. Couldn't remember the name of the fragrance there. It reminds me of that as well. It's got this powdery, purple, floral, clean aspect to it. What I've come to realise is, is that that is just... It's a mirage created by the quality of the carnation, the ylang ylang, the vanilla, and the iris. Those four notes create this kind of lavender haze that you can get. But if you smell it closely, and if you smell and spend enough time with the fragrance, you will come to see what I did that the lavender isn't actually there it just appears to be there it appears to be there it seems to be there I don't get any orange blossom of note personally um, and I've worn this on skin uh, many times I don't get much I get a little bit of rose you know I don't get much spice maybe a little bit of nutmeg Maybe that's kind of like the spice they're getting at, you know? Um, something a little bit kind of granny, like, you know, that powdery granny kind of smell, you know? We all know a powdery granny, surely. The, 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 the heart swirls very gently, very gently. I mean, I don't know if something can swirl gently, but this fragrance gives that impression of this kind of softly rotating floral powderiness. This, like this beauty. Imagine like a, a, like a really, really, really high quality porcelain vase on a rotating plinth with all the florals like painted on and everything and it's rotating and it never stops moving but it's beautiful to behold it might not be your thing you don't necessarily want to collect porcelain but it's an out outrageous thing to behold and you just know that it's worth a fucking fortune and if you ever tried to make something like that it would be fucking some kind of aberration against man and god but it's an amazing thing after the after the heart dries down which it eventually does after some hours you are left with this powdery warm soft clean vanilla tonka musk kind of base with little hints and inflections of the fucking floral swirl that was it is a beautiful perfume it and i mean it is beautiful it is not pretty it's not fucking like gorgeous it's not any of these modern words to define sex appeal it's beautiful you know it's amazing it's classy it like you respect it and i do respect this fragrance I think the last great girl on was on Sans Mythique at this point in 2024. I don't think they've made anything worth mentioning since. Um, but this is the last classic girl on for me. That Guerlainard, that old world perfume, the reverential brand, the brand that invented French perfume, it feels like it invented French perfume that deserves to be held in high esteem, deserves to be talked about in ways that I am not qualified to do. And I'm sad I don't have a bottle to show you, but I'm not paying the prices because I'm just not paying those prices anymore for perfumes. They're just ludicrous. And it's a shame because these things seem to be disappearing over the horizon. Anyway, that is my review. Thank you very much for watching, everyone.
صحیح